age if someone told me losing material possessions that is no money or personal identifiable items like credit card or driver's license would put me in a situation where i am almost crying i would say no now why did i cry after losing my tripod i mean i cried honestly i was told in after my first visit to ottawa and i was like why tripod why was someone actually steal tripod it's no money like why but at the same time why was i crying now i went to ottawa to celebrate my anniversary that particular day where my tripod was stolen i had already booked a reservation for our anniversary dinner and it did not happen because i was really sad i had planned out how everything would go and so my husband decided to make up for the anniversary anniversary dinner and he said let's go to mandarin i usually always wonder what the rave is about mandarin but after coming here i'd say mandarin is everything they say she is and so much more bear in mind that my first experience in eating chinese food didn't go so well and i decided to give this another try i had booked a reservation for 6 p.m because i just wanted us to have dinner there and then retire back to and bed so this was us just arriving mandarin and just trying to find a place to park our car the outside was not giving and i'm like where did this man Under bring the exterior me to? was not given we could not go back now because we had already made a reservation and so we decided to take a step in when we got in we were asked to confirm our names and then show a proof of identification and then we waited for the person who would take us to our seats knowing that this place is an all-you-can-eat buffet in order to get value for my odogu's money i refused to eat after meetings that sunday i just waited and then i couldn't wait to admire these fishes this was the person who was assigned to us that was ushering us to our table so we can now have our dinner when we got to our table it was already set and prepared for us they specifically gave us this place close to the fishes the aquarium i don't know if it's because i had mama shark with me being baby zuria but honestly i loved the view and so did my baby after we sat down they gave us this hot minty towel to wipe our hands to clean all the yama yama inside after cleaning all the yama yama in our hands they decided to give us this cocktail menu to choose our favorite drinks now the all you can eat buffet does not include the drinks you pay separately for the drinks but the food you can eat just anything and for children from two years and under it's totally free i selected bellini for my husband and then i went with the strawberry their query in addition to the drinks they served us a chilled glass of water with a slice of lemon in why it. didn't anybody tell me that going out with toddlers can be sometimes chaotic tell me why my daughter decided that this was the time that she wanted to go home how will she go home when she has juice already so my drink took a long time to come and i decided to help myself to some meal while i wait for the drink if you're seeing my video for the first time welcome do not forget to like and subscribe to this youtube channel my name is isabella let me know your name in the comment section so we can get to know each other i basically share my updates here in canada as a temporary resident my mom life travel and food vlogs follow me on tiktok and instagram for real-time life updates and for those who have been following me and supporting me from day one thank you guys so so much you guys are the real mvp i love you guys just mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. my first serving of food looked like and then i had to indulge in the while salmon. i was indulging in my food my drink came in and so i had to step down with this since we had to take turns because of the baby my husband the vegetarian went for his own turn and he took some broccoli and some chewables and i'm like where were all these things anyways i took this thing thinking it was puff puff god this thing tastes amazing it has some fish inside and i really really after indulging it. in my bowl of goodness and my glass of drink i had to go for a second round because why not this time i decided to try the oysters some meat some veggies and the sushi i do not think i'll be wowed by this place but i was wowed because everything was neat the servers kept cleaning from time to time and refilling the meals the restaurant has right all the wrongs in my head about chinese food they had different kinds of sushi and each of these sushi banks like they banked so well i have never tried dumplings my whole life and so i used this as an opportunity to try the dumplings and let's see how that goes in the end my goal was to start with foods that i have never eaten or tried before before going to something that i knew i saw this stick stand and i decided to get a slice of stick i came over here and i got some salmon fish they had spring rolls which i never got to try i mean i buy spring rolls from the superstore the last chinese shrimps i had when i went to tnt superstore did not sit well with me so i was a bit skeptical about this one but when i tasted my husband's own it was really nice so i decided to try it 
and this book now i don't know why i took this book because na 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 it was just bare after doing all my picking and picking this was what i had in my plates i also took some rice for the baby girl and she did not like it i loved this oyster so much i wish i ate more i took different kinds of sushi and i must say that they are very delicious did i just say sushi is it sushi or sushi anyways i don't know i don't know how to use chopsticks so i just went in with my fork and knife i was using one hand to record so what you if you have watched this video up to this point and you have not subscribed guys why have you not subscribed please hit that subscribe button now show your friend love show me your girl after stressing myself love. to bring rice for this woman the only thing she ate was corn corn only corn and she drank apple juice now the moment i tasted that dumpling god my head was not here again i'm like why didn't i take more i need to go back for more but no i have to try other foods to get value for your money in this kind of place you have to be very strategic and my second strategy was that i did not wear any tight fitting thing my top was loose my jean waist was loose and i adjusted it to fit my tummy guys no way i know if you waste money i started chop and i started drink i didn't drink any other glass except this one until i left honestly there. i finally get what the rave is about mandarin so it's a place you just come eat all you can eat but you have to pay for your drink so and then you go children from two years under do not pay but children from three years and above have to pay at this point i had finished my second place and i was just waiting for all of that to go down so i can go back to get some more food remember i had not eaten breakfast and lunch that sunday so don't say yeah bella you to chop i know to chop anything i'm just getting value for my money thank god we're not even paying for this auntie because she for just waste our money she was there playing with baby shark as she be mama shark and her. while i was waiting for my food to step down i decided to show you guys the varieties of what they had in here i didn't even touch this particular section till i left i was just focused on one side like that's not how you come here and you finish every type of food here Anyways, sit tight, cross your legs, and grab your popcorn. Let me take you on this food tour. I'm sure you already know that as a food tour guide there's no way i will take you guys around this whole place without refilling the strength that i just lost walking up and down so i had my third plate of food it's not even the third plate because i had to eat the rice that this girl left beside me she did not eat it only the corn so i finished it and that was how she rounded up my after the meal eating. we were given another three sets of hand towels to clean our hands and this woman refused to clean her in hands. the end we finished our food and drinks paid our bills and then we were on our way home. i don't understand why this big two years old baby always wants to be carried i mean 
everywhere the moment she reaches outside now she'll start running around because she's not used to being around people every time you take her to a social place she just wants to be carried please tell her to stop this she has to stop this behavior she's a big on her way out we decided to watch these beautiful fishes because mama shark says so because baby shark do 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 baby says so and one quick final tour before we leave the building guys i loved my experience here the staff were very friendly the food was 10 over 10 i had no reason to complain i was not constipated and the moment we got outside to see who is jumping when we around. came out the sun was already setting in fact the sun was already sleeping and so we were on our way if you have home. watched this vlog up to this point and you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button now and for those who have been with me from the beginning thank you so much for the love that you show me i do not take it for granted and if you have anything you would like me to discuss or talk about please do not hesitate to let me know in the comment section also do not forget to follow me on tiktok and on instagram using the link in the description section of this video if you love to see more videos like this on this page do not forget to let me know in the comment section let me know what you like let me know what interests you let me know those kind of videos that will make you want to watch my videos and hit that subscribe button thank you again for coming to this trip with me Bye-bye.